Welcome back to these video tutorials to help you through the Google Level 1 certification exam. In this video, we're going to talk about Scenario 9, which deals with Google Classroom. So for Scenario 9, you want to post an assignment in Google Classroom. So you're going to open up one of your classes. You're going to add me as a student to your class. You're going to create an assignment, attach a doc as a template, and have students make a copy of that assignment before they begin. Then you're going to set a due date. And then the last part is to post a discussion question on the, on the stream. All right, so once you're in Google Classroom, I want you to go ahead and open up one of your classes. I have this one that's just a test Google Classroom and I use it to try all these different things. So the first part is to add, an, to add someone as a student. So you're gonna to go to the People tab and down here, you're going to add a student. So where it says Students, and this little person with a plus sign, you just click that. And I want you to add me as a student. So if you start typing their name, your email address should come up and you can click it. And then you say invite. So down here at the bottom, you say invite. Now, I couldn't invite myself as a student, but you'll be able to. And then you'll see their name down here as the student has been added. The next part is to create an assignment. So we're going to go to the classwork tab. And we're going to go up here to this plus sign create. And I'm going to hit that and I'm going to create an assignment. Now we have different options. We can create topics, we can use materials, questions, all of these things, but I'm going to go to assignment. All right, so this is an example assignment. And we want to attach a template of a document to this. So I'm going to go here where I have the add and I can just go to my drive and I can add any document that I want from my drive just by searching through here. I can also upload one from my computer. Now, additionally, I can create one. So if I click this plus sign create here, I can create a new doc to use as a template. So it's going to open it up and I'm able to create just this template right here that I would use. So now that I've had this, and it's all ready to go, I can close it. And you'll see that it's attached down here. Now the last part is to make sure that students make a copy of this before they start editing it. So when you're here, you can click this little arrow and you're gonna get three options. Now, this only works from the classwork tab when you're creating an assignment and it's only visible the first time you're doing this. So if you start entering this and you hit assign and then you go back in to try to edit it, this option is no longer here. So it's only going to be here the first time you're entering this assignment. But we want each student to make a copy. All right. So then you can come over here and you can assign it to different classrooms. If you want to give it to multiple classrooms, you can. You can click here if you only wanted to give it to some students or all students. You can assign it the number of points you want. And we want to give it a due date. So I'm going to set a due date of Friday. Now you can do specific times if you want, but I'm going to leave it just as this time. You can attach it to a topic. Now I don't have any topics created right now, but if you're keeping track of this by date or week, or maybe you're keeping track of it by unit or chapter of study, you might have topics created for that. All right, so I've created the assignment. I've attached a template. Every student's going to make a copy, and we have a due date set. And then I hit assign. And you'll notice it showed up right here as an example assignment due October 3rd, and it's right here on my list of classworks. All right, and the last piece is to to post a discussion question on the stream. So if we go here to the stream, that's all of this right here underneath your banner. Now this is really just announcements. This gives you announcements based on what teacher, your teacher has posted or maybe what's due soon. You can post announcements here. 
So if we want to post a discussion question, we can click right on right here, share something with your class, and it opens up this window. And this is going to be a discussion question. And then we hit post. So now that I've created this, you'll see that there's an add a comment section. So all of the students in the class can click on that and add a comment and then just hit this paper airplane and it'll post it right here on my stream. Thank you for watching this video tutorial to help you through the level one certification exam. If you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to me via email.